Dang McVeigh and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthdays for today. Okay, let's see. Happy birthday. Oh, look at that. There are no birthdays today. Lots tomorrow, though. Okay, our lunch for today, friends, is pizza. We also have boar's head turkey and cheese sandwich, grilled cheese, and bagel lunch. I really, really want to congratulate everybody on working so hard to get our lunch counts to be more accurate, which means the way that they should be. So if I say two plus one equals three, that's accurate. If I say two plus one is four, that's not accurate. So accurate means that uh, something equals what it should equal. So all the work that um, our teachers put into the lunch count should mean that we get the right amount of food to our classrooms. If everybody does their part, only takes what they order, orders definitely what they want, it should go much better the way that it has been. So I want to thank everybody for that. Every now and then there'll be mistakes and we'll fix those, but uh, things are much, much better than they were. Okay. Um, next up, I wanted to talk a little bit about when and why we go to the nurse. So, boys and girls, going to the nurse means that you really don't feel good. Um, it could mean that uh, you got a cut, maybe you fell, have a little bump or a scrape. Going to the nurse is important when you need to go to the nurse. But if you've had a bump or a bruise for several days and mom or dad has seen it, things like that, that's not necessarily something the nurse can help you with. What we want to try to do is only make sure we go to the nurse when we need to. Why? Because there are lots of boys and girls in the nurse been passing by and noticing many, many boys and girls in the nurse at the same time. And that's not good for anybody. Now we have the boo-boo bench outside the health office so that if you fall outside, you sit there. If you're not feeling well, we go somewhere else, but we want to keep everybody health, healthy and safe. So uh, let's make sure that we're not going to the nurse for things that don't need the nurse. All right. Now, uh, for our postcards to McVeigh or from America to McVeigh, this, we already saw some pictures of this place. I believe it was the Cardali sisters. Here are the Semple sisters in the same place. This is the Grand Canyon, only two different views. So the Semple sisters went to the Grand Canyon too. I've never been there. I hope that someday I will get there, but um, super cool place uh, to visit. So thank you to the Semple sisters. We also are going to get back to our project from Gianna, uh, who read a book on the earth. So I told you this is the three part uh, this was done in a, in a trifold, so we're actually going to tackle this over three days because there's a lot of information in this. So today we're going to learn about the continental drift. Now, those of you who have been following the news, you may have heard about some earthquakes recently. And so, gee, well, how do earthquakes happen? So last um, time we learned about the temperature of the core of the earth, and we learned that there is a core. And on top of that, there are these um, big, big plates called tectonic plates, and sometimes they shift. And so Gianna covers that a little bit. She says these plates are moving together. And so uh, originally, the world did not look the way that it does now. So uh, the continent drift, the uh, drifted apart. So 
in some places the land was joined and has moved apart and in other places land is coming together and the plates that are beneath the uh, surface of what we know as the earth uh, move and shift and that's what causes mountains and volcanoes to form and then of course release from the core of the earth and so when we have an earthquake it means that the plates beneath the earth are shifting slightly so whatever's on top of it rattles and moves and tomorrow we're going to learn about something else in this project which is super cool because it's important from tomorrow into wednesday all right uh finally just a reminder that we have our McVay merch sale ending on Friday and our mighty kind moment of the day we'll get our bronze. Da, da, da. okay so the mighty kind moment of the day goes to somebody that I'm not really sure who it is so um somebody actually did some work on our lost and found box cleaned it up I don't know who that was it was super duty mighty uh, super duper mighty kind we didn't ask you to do that. You just did it on your own. Didn't take credit for it, just did it. Why? Because it was a good thing to do, the right thing to do when you saw that something needed some attention and you took care of it. And that's what kindness is. It's seeing something that needs some attention, maybe giving some of your own effort to make something better, just because, not to get any credit, not to win a prize, just because. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, a mighty kind, mighty mind. And everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.